Um, the Greens, meanwhile, have picked Lydia Thorpe to become the new Senator for Victoria, replacing Richard Di Natale, the former leader. Um, Stephen, Lydia Thorpe identifies as Aboriginal, but told the ABC she does not identify as Australian. Here she is. I don't identify as being Australian. It's a concept that's been imposed upon our people since we were invaded. By my lot? Yes. <laughs> The colonisers came and set up the colony, uh, which they now call Australia. Mass genocide occurred. And in fact, the colonisers included, uh, I suspect, uh, a number of her ancestors. Um, ignore her grotesque exaggerations about genocide, Stephen. What does it say about the Greens? that they picked for the Parliament of Australia someone who openly declares they don't identify as Australian in the first place? Well, I mean, some of, I think most of her language there was very inflammatory. I'm sure if she reflected on it today, uh, that she would say that it <laughs> Are was. You uh, sure? <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure she would. Uh, I mean, she's got the privilege and honour, and I've been lucky enough to share it of, of serving the Victorian public and the Australian public now. Uh, and while you might want to push for changes around some of the many issues of disadvantage and the many institutional issues that have. Uh, held back uh, the Indigenous community, I don't think... I think she'll live to regret uh, describing herself as not Australian. I think that was uh, uh, a very poor choice in the way of describing herself. Gosh, uh, you're very mm. uh, you're very forgiving. Uh, are you as forgiving, yeah. Michael? No, no, another well-meaning Australian uh, there, uh, uh, Andrew. Well, of course, Thorpe won't be able to sit in the Parliament because... Um, if she doesn't identify as Australian, then under Section 42 of the Constitution, she won't be able to swear the oath of allegiance to the Queen, which she has to do, as every member of Parliament has to do, before they can take their seat in the Parliament. So if she won't swear allegiance to the Queen, which obviously she won't, if she's not even an Australian, then uh, she'll be sitting well, outside she might be a the hypocrite. cafeteria. Well, no, uh, uh, you know, someone, the Greens, you know, say that they're true to their principles, Andrews. This is the thing the Greens are founded on, this freakish, nutty sort of you know, caveman and woman view of the world. But these people say they're true to their principles. OK, uh, to this new senator, you will be sitting outside the Senate because you will not swear allegiance to the Queen. And if you do, you are a gross hypocrite and shouldn't be there. So she won't do that. So I presume she won't be a senator, Andrew. They should have picked Julian Burnside. At least they've got someone who's... Oh, for heaven's sake. Um, yeah, well, okay. the fact that he was right. beaten by her right. because yeah, she yeah. was more But I left. think it was done, you know, he's uh, an old white man just when that is... The stocks for old white men have just fallen through the floor. Probably. Um, Stephen, I'm going to try my luck a third time because I don't <laughs> believe your human kindness, you know, milk of human kindness routine can last this provocation.